So we will continue and we are going to finish topic two, where this is the last subtopic of your topic two. Very simple topic where we will talk about nomenclature of inorganic compound. We will define cation and ion where we have learned in your 2.1. And also we are going to look into how to name the cation and ion and the salt. So let's start. Cation. We have learned cation and we know that cation is a positively charged ion which is formed when the neutral atom is losing its electron. And that's why in the cation, the number of proton is more or less, is more than the number of electron. So that is your cation. And I have a few examples of cation. Very simple, I have potassium ion, which is a group 1 metal, K positive. I have a calcium ion, Ca2+. Plus. I have a copper 1 ion, so copper 1 represents Cu positive. But if the question say copper 2 ion, then it will be a Cu2+. Plus. I have aluminium over here, aluminium group 13, so Al3+. Plus. N ion. So N ion is a negatively charged ion, which is formed when the neutral atom is accepting electron. That will cause the number of proton more or less right now. Number of proton will be less than the number of electron because electron is added into the neutral atom, so the number of electron is higher than the number of proton. So a few examples of N ion over here. I have my chloride ion, Cl minus. I have my nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Nitrate and nitrite is different. Nitrate ion is NO3 minus. Nitrite ion is a NO2 minus. So be careful in identifying nitrate and nitrite ion. Carbonate ion, your polyatomic ion, CO3 2 minus. Phosphate ion, PO4 3 minus. Very simple. I have provided a table of different charged cation and anion in your notes. So open up your notes and start reading. How do we identify chemical formula if the name is given? So first and foremost, we separate them into cation and anion first. So we are going to identify who is the cation, who is the anion. So the cation over here is your barium. Your anion over here is your iodine. Identify the formula. Barium is a barium 2 positive. Iodate is a IO3 minus. Identify their charge. The charge is 2 positive. The charge of iodate is 1 minus. And learn how to balance the charge. How many mole of barium is needed to balance off how many mole of iodate? So we normally start off with the higher charge. 2 plus and y minus. So 1 mole of the barium needs 2 moles of the iodate to balance off the charge. Because 1 mole is 2 plus, 2 mole of 1 minus is 2 minus. Therefore, the chemical formula of barium iodate will be Ba2 plus IO3 minus. Bring down the charge, cross. So you have your Ba, 1 mole, iodate, 2 mole, when the charge go down. So that is the chemical formula of barium iodate. The next example that I have is iron 3 nitrate. So same thing, we separate them into cation and anion first. So the cation that we have over here is iron 3. And the anion I have is nitrate over here. So cation, iron 3, means Fe3+, plus because of the 3. Anion, nitrate, so NO3-. minus. The charge over here is 3 positive. The charge over here is 1 negative. So, how many mole of cation and ion needed to balance off the charge? One mole of cation 
require three mole of the anion because three plus of one minus. So the chemical formula will be Fe three plus NO three minus. Bring down the charge. Bring down the charge to the opposite side. So you have Fe one mole. You have NO three three mole. Make sure the bracket is in there because the three mole is for the entire NO three. So that is the chemical formula of iron three nitrate. The third example that we have is civil sulfate. So who is the cation? Who is the anion? The cation will normally be the metal. The anion will be the non-metal. The cation I have over here is civil. The anion I have over here is sulfate. So the cation civil, the formula is in the form of Ag positive. The anion sulfate is a SO4. 2 minus. So the charge over here is 1 positive. The charge of the anion is 2 negative. So how many more of cation and anion needed to balance off the charge? I need 2 moles of the cation to balance off 1 mole of the anion. And the chemical formula will be Ag positive SO4 2 minus same thing, we bring down the charge to, to the opposite side. So you have Ag2SO4. That is the chemical formula of civil sulfate. Simple, very simple. So let's look into the last example, chromium-3 oxide. So chromium-3 oxide, who is the cation, who is the anion? Simple, cation is the metal, so is the chromium. 3. Chromium 3 means what is the charge? Anion will be the oxide. So chromium 3, the formula is Cr3 plus oxide O2 minus. Very simple formula. So I have the charge over here is 3 positive. I have the charge over here is 2 negative. How many mole of cation and ion needed to balance off the charge? 3 plus versus 2 minus. Therefore, I need 2 moles of the cation to balance off 3 moles of the anion. So that the total charge will be 6 positive and the total charge of anion will be 6 negative. Chromium 3 plus O2 minus. Bring down the charge, bring down the charge. So it's a Cr2O3, chromium-3 oxide. It's actually very simple to write the chemical formula as long as you know who is your cation, who is your anion. And it's very important to be able to write the formula of the ion correctly. Therefore, please read through the table of the ion that is given in your notes. And we come to the end of topic two. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you again.